Guys, what's up? Welcome back to our channel. I'm Rihanna, and this is our morning routine. The very first thing I do when I wake up, unfortunately, is stroll through social media land. It's a bad habit, but I cherish this time by myself. Then I like to make sure my bed is made and our room is completely clean before I take a moment to just breathe in and meditate for a little while. I definitely feel like having a concrete plan for the day helps me better utilize my time. I love this planner from Lavendaire. She has an awesome YouTube channel here on YouTube. You should check her out. But this planner is super cool. It's better than just a traditional planner. It has your traditional to-do list, but it also has space for things like self-care and wins for the day. I don't know about you guys, but I get super excited to take a shower alone as a mom. As a mom of a 10-month-old, Having my me time to do my skincare routine, makeup, take a shower alone is super important to me. How I do this, I make sure I wake up at least two to three hours before Gianna wakes up. I'm able to get a whole lot more things done, whether it's get myself ready, get the house ready, do a couple of extra chores, but I just definitely feel a lot more prepared by the time she wakes up instead of trying to wake up when she wakes up and rushing to get all of these things done while trying to entertain a 10 month old. Now that the kitchen is nice and clean, I want to go ahead and steam some essential oils. I picked this up at the health food store. I love mixing the citrus with that more minty, foresty smell, especially in the kitchen. It just smells so clean and fresh. So I'll mix those two together. He might have even came with some essential oils already, but um, I've definitely restocked since then and I love having this going throughout the day. I'll change the scents throughout the day. So that's our morning scent. And then later on in the afternoon, I might do like a peppermint and lemon scent. Just more bright, refreshing, kind of gets you that second wind. So love essential oils. I'm starting to do a lot more essential oils rather than candles. Um, I've heard that they're, they're a lot healthier, a lot safer, and they're just fun because you can make your own blend. She is all the way up now. She's looking all around, playing around. It is 8.30. Gigi normally wakes up between 8.30 and 9.30, sometimes even 10. Um, just depends on how much sleep she got the night before. But she is awake. I'm just waiting for her to yell out for me. I like to let her have her me time and let her play in her own room. Um, she doesn't need me right now. She's having a great time. So as soon as she lets out that first yelp, I'm right there in the door to get my baby. So in the meantime, I'm going to enjoy my tea and just have a little, you know, silent time before the storm. shirt is going to be so ironic. I'm going to be making a video about how to break up with a narcissistic friend and I'm wearing a shirt that says cute but psycho. Okay, I think it's time to go wake up baby girl. Yeah. Hi, good morning pretty girl. What you doing, girl? Hey, 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 hey. So this is a two ingredient banana pancake recipe that I found on Pinterest. This is my first time trying this recipe, but basically it's two bananas, two eggs, and then you fry them up just like pancakes. Comment below if you would like me to try more popular Pinterest recipes and see how they turned out. These pancakes turned out good. They looked great. They looked like pancakes. 
but they tasted like bananas. So if you're craving pancakes, I strongly suggest going ahead and just making some regular pancakes. But if you love bananas, then you're probably gonna love these. She seemed to also enjoy the yogurt parfait that I made on the side, and I also gave her a little side of peanut butter, which is her favorite thing. I always make sure I feed her before I get her ready for the day because she makes a giant mess, as you can see here. So right after we eat breakfast, it's time to get her ready for the day. And the key to doing this is Daniel Tiger. I make sure he is on. It is about 10 o'clock, and that's when he comes on here in our area, and he's a great little distraction while I get her hair combed and her outfit on. I've got my father's mouth and my mother's thick black wave. I've got my grandma's cheeks and my aunt's ah. button nose. The end. Gianna is a huge fan of Wendy Williams. She loves watching the intro to Hot Topics. She Wendy? loves all the clapping, the music, the fashions, darling. And then as soon as the intro is over, she is ready to play. This is what I like to call Operation Wear Her Out. This is playtime. We run around the house doing all kinds of crazy things and just getting her extra tired for her first nap of the day. Where are you moving the furniture to? Where are you going? You got strudels food all out. She likes to move this high chair all over the house because I didn't get her a walker. They said they were dangerous. I'm sure this is way more safe than a walker, right? By noon, it's time for Gianna's first nap. So I put her white noise machine on and go ahead and lay her down much for watching our morning routine video i hope you enjoyed it now it is noon and Gigi is down for her first nap of the day and it is time for me to get to work so i will see you guys on the next video bye i know i would like to get to know it